A Corvallis homeless shelter is expanding its services thanks to a $35,000 grant from the Walmart Foundation. As KZI 9 News reporter Rhoda Krause explains, those staying at Community Outreach are very grateful. It's the only family shelter in town and soon community outreach will be able to offer more services to women and children thanks to a large grant. That's the message I would love to send to Corvallis is that uh, homelessness looks very, very different than what we've been led, it, led to believe that it looks like. When I came here, I mean, I was crying. I didn't know what to do. I'm 83, first time in my life I've ever been in a jail. I was a drug addict to the full extent. $35,000, a grant from the Walmart Foundation, so community outreach will be able to continue to expand services to those in need. Uh, my kids were gone. My dad died. I had to move out of my place. One man says he spent a few weeks in the county jail. His charges were dropped, but he had nowhere to go. This place is probably the best I've ever seen in supplying help to people in need. And the people in need here are a very heterogeneous bunch. Different faces of homelessness. We have three people with PhDs right now. We have um, probably half our clients are working but they're in a place where they don't have a home. The latest grant will expand services to women and children in the transitional shelter. It's a hand up, not a handout. You have to want to better your situation. Tell me. The grant will provide extra funding for services like child care, drug and alcohol treatment, <laughs> and mental health treatment. I feel like there should be a community outreach in every county. Whitaker says she is grateful for the grant, but despite the $35,000 increase in funding, it's not going to fulfill all of the need in Corvallis. Community Outreach is always accepting cash donations, or you can donate food, blankets, or soaps and shampoos. In Corvallis, Rhoda Krause, KEZI 9 News.